How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Nintendo News Update. This actually took me by surprise. I want to give a shout out and a special thanks to Corey Boehm. He actually brought this to my attention, not necessarily just to me, but just on Discord and a Discord server to everyone. But I saw him talk about it. Uh, I know him personal, not personally, but you know what I mean. We talk a lot um, in private. Anyway, so yeah. So thank you. So this was sure unexpected. Nintendo is buying Canadian studio Next Level Games. Nintendo is expected to own 100% of its shares by the start of March. Ever since 2014, Next Level Games has agreed to make games exclusively for Nintendo systems, but it was not owned by Nintendo at the time, or obvi and obviously not Nintendo of Canada. The transaction is expected to be completed by March 1st. So the acquisition will have only minor effects on Nintendo's results for this current fiscal year. Uh, we're not going to really, probably not going to notice much when it comes to like financial meetings too much. Um, not until after April. And do keep in mind, even though Nintendo's fiscal year ends March 31st, a lot of times like we're not going to hear, we're not going to get like a meeting until like the following month. And especially with the pandemic, I don't know, that could be delayed. I know things are a little better in Japan now, especially compared to, you know, here in the States or Canada or much of Europe. But, yeah, Japan's actually doing a lot better than a lot of North American and European countries are currently. So, there's that. Oh, I uh, also forgot to say that um, March 1st, you know, well, I did say it's expected to be done by March 1st. So, that's why it's only going to be... It's not going to really affect Nintendo, not until, like, at least not until April and beyond, because it's going to be the final month of 2020 fiscal year. So, a little uh, history of Next Level Games. They were founded uh, August 22nd, 2002. That was uh, when they were founded. Uh, located in Vancouver, BC, uh, British Columbia, Canada. It is also in the same city as N Nintendo's Nintendo of Canada's headquarters. The studio has developed games for PlayStation and Xbox in the past up until 2014. They have, uh, yeah, this was before they became Nintendo exclusive. They have developed titles such as Super Mario Strikers, Metroid Prime, Federation Force. They haven't played that one. I almost did, and then people complained about it, so I never played on the DS. Uh, excuse me, 3DS. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon, or Luigi's Mansion 2, if you live outside of North America. Luigi's Mansion 3. Captain America, Super Soldier, Spider-Man, Friend or Foe, and Tom Clancy's Ghost, Ghost Recon. They made other games too, by the way. That, that's just all the games I'm listing. I'm not going to go too far into detail. Um, also, I did say Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon and Luigi's Mansion 3. They did not develop the original Luigi's Mansion. That was developed primarily in Japan. I know 2 and 3, Dark Moon and 3, had, you know, like, I think the... The producers were in Japan, or some of the producers, but most of the development was uh, done in, up in BC, or British Columbia, for those of you who aren't familiar with Canada, uh, with the province, but BC is British Columbia. Anyway, so thanks once again to Corey for the heads up on this. You could also, uh, down in the description, you could read more. Um, I'm actually reading, I have a screenshot of the uh, acquisition, it talks about it, so you guys can kind of see it in detail. Yeah, so thank you for watching. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed. Um, we'll see what happens. Could this be? Like, could this mean like there's gonna be a Nintendo Switch Pro later this year? I, I don't know. I want to hope. I saw like a leak earlier. It, it, I'm pretty sure this is not a real leak, so I'm not even gonna bother making a video on it, even though I'm talking about it now. But yeah, so just be mindful that if we get a Nintendo Direct, wait for Nintendo to actually talk about it. Don't listen to people pretending to post stuff with typos on a piece of paper yeah anyway i'm gonna shut up so i will see you guys in the next video